Louisiana Beer Reviews, Bergkopf Beer, Grapefruit Beer, Belgian Style Ale with Grapefruit Flavor, Bergkopf. Uh, <clears throat> this just showed up in this town and uh, couldn't find out a whole lot about it. 5.5% alcohol, some sediments may settle at the bottom, and it is a natural characteristic. Brewed and canned in Lithuania. Producer UAB Kuen Craft. K U E N Craft. From Kaunas, Lithuania. Imported by Blue Spring Imports. I'm going to look that up. North Miami Beach, Florida. Look like they have a number of products. They make different flavors, and they have regular beers too, like a Pilsner and. Um, non-alcoholic beer and so forth uh lot number zero 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 two seven so i don't know what that's supposed to be but this just showed up in the last five days 16.2 ounce can What am I thinking? 19.2 ounce can, stove pipe can, 568 milliliters. Sorry about that, stove pipe can. Okay. So it's got this resealable can. Let's see if I can get this to work. Open it. It's got a paper tab, so open it. Then I think slide it. slide it back first time in my life I've ever seen a receivable can I'm not going to worry because I'm going to drink it all anyhow. All right. Nice concept. Oh, air conditioner. All right. Um, not much head of foam. It is sort of juice looking, translucent, cloudy, and has bubbles everywhere. It must have a lot of juice because there's no kind of head of foam building at all on this thing. Thought I could beat the air conditioner. Sorry about that. It's kind of loud. I know. Um, there is a faint grapefruit. It's mostly just barley malt, though. Grain more than juice. It smells fine. And somehow I think this company is related to Martins of Belgium. Because if you get on their website, this company's website, there's a link to Martins. I don't know if they're owned by Martins. I never could figure that out. There's some kind of association. And I'm just going to link to a a, a competing brewer for no reason. They're going to link to a, a related brewer for for a reason. It's slightly tart. They, I think they're using actual grapefruit juice, not just grapefruit flavor. And they're talking about sediment at the bottom. And the way this is looking, I bet you when I get down, I'm not going to have time in this video, there's going to be sediment at the bottom. Really weird. <laughs> weird. It has kind of that musty Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland even. I guess Poland would be a Baltic state. It's not concluded in what they call the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. But all those touch the Baltic Sea. Poland, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Russia, but um, it's a really interesting product and it's really hard to explain. Oh, orange cap, orange, uh, didn't think about that when I lined that up. It's kind of flat. It is flat. 
there's a little prickle in the tongue. Um, body is medium. Finish is mostly dry. Sweetness scale though, probably three and a half out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness, zero out of five hop cones. So it's like a punch. It's kind of like uh, some of these American punch uh, flavor malt beverages, punch products with natural flavoring. But they're way more sugary than this. Those things are like sugar bomb. They're usually like 8 to 10 percent. Some are crazily high, like 12. Um, this one's only 5.5. It's nice. Um, I think it was $2.99 for the stovepipe can. These days, that's a good deal. I don't know why. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why it showed up here all the way from Lithuania. Um, it's odd. I've never heard of this company before. It's it's mild and pleasant. I mean, it's tart. It's not bitter. Grapefruit is bitter, but maybe they add sugar to this to because uh, a lot of people do that with grapefruit. Put sugar on the top in order to be able to tolerate eating it. They're showing the the red grapefruit on there, the really tart one. I mean, I can eat grapefruit, but I don't really like fruit at all of any sort. But grapefruit is a little too bitter for me. But I mean, I, it's it's all right. You get all that pith and all the meat stuck in your teeth and all that. I just, but uh, that this wasn't created for people that don't like fruit. It was created for people that like fruit. Burkhoff. Uh Yeah, so for a fruit flavored beer, it's a winner. I, I would recommend it. So, like I said, sorry for the air conditioner. I thought I had that beat, but I didn't. So, um, score. I got a lot to pour to take a photo. It's like a funky, musty yeast taste, too which is kind of common for those Baltic States beers, like I said, but uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I don't drink flavored beers regularly, I mean, except for reviews, which is regular, but uh, I mean, I recommend it. It's an A, it's an A beer. 9.4 out of 10. Um, Beer advocate and either rape beer or, or beer at or un let's see untap had it. I think they had a 72 on it. Rape beer or beer advocate. One of those two didn't have it listed, but one of them did, and I think they were saying it was good. They thought it was good, not anything remarkable, but I didn't have a whole lot of check-ins on it. So uh, yeah, Les Les Bon Temps I think it's most excellent. An A beer, a little unusual. An A beer from Lithuania, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Lithuania and tour the Kaunas, Kaunas Craft. No, Kaun Craft, Kaun Craft. Distil, uh, they do distillery work there too. Now that I'm mentioning that. They do what they call distilled beer. They say, this is a strange product, but we do it. They make liquor out of beer. I mean, but like actual beer, it's not like, you know, that stage where they have the, the distiller's beer. I don't know anything about it, but it's interesting. And tour that brewery and distillery.